Hello. Today's topic is on measurement of irrigation water. Presented by Technozone Plus. So we will be discussing uh, the methods of water measurement in which we will briefly discuss velocity method, water meters, um, orifices, and so on. Nowadays, everyone is aware of the fact that the conservation of water is must for the continuity of the life of the planet Earth. So we must find ways for the efficient utilization of the already scarce water resources. We need to go for the optimization of the water application, particularly in the agricultural field. For that purpose, measurement of water enables us to apply the water according to the needs of the soil and plants. So the first method is you know in regard to the measurement of water is velocity area method. You now I suggest you people to pause the video and read it from the slide. It's it is self explanatory. And this method is governed by simple discharge equation, which is again given on the slide. Q is equal to area multiplied by velocity. But this method it employs two approaches. One is float method, and the second is current meter method. Here is the float method. I request to you people to pause the video and go through this slide, read it from it, and you and, and try to understand it. It is self-explanatory. Here is the diagram. Another method is the current meter method, which uh, also comes under float, you know, sorry, velocity area method. This slide is again self explanatory, you can read it from here. Now, another way of measuring water is through water meters. Another two basic requirements for the operation of a water meter are that the pipe must flow full at all the time. This is the basic requirement for uh, the operation of this water meter. Uh, another is <coughs> that the rate of flow must exceed the minimum or the rated range of the meter. This is the typical diagram of the propeller type meter. Again, you can, sorry, you can read it from the slide, you can pause the video. There is nothing, you know, nothing, nothing to discuss or explain. The discharge through an orifice is given by Q is equal to 0 0.61 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 3 A under root of 2 GH. And the description of the variables is given in this slide. Another uh, measuring device is weir. 
creates a notch of a regular form through which water may flow. In the simplest form of a weir wall or a block head of timber, metal or concrete with opening of a fixed dimension cut on its top. The opening is called a weir notch and may be either rectangular, trapezoidal or triangular in shape. These are the different, uh, you know, different parts of the weir. You can read, you can read these from the slide by okay, pausing the video. There are different types of weir uh, based on the shape of the notch and the type of the crest. So we have rectangular weir, sycamore weir, 90 degree V notch weir, and sharp crested weir. In broadcast view, everything has been given on the slide. You can pause the video and read from the slide. The main thing to remember about these different types of ideas is is this discharge equation you must remember all of these equations by heart all the time they are very important when we go for designing these these types of ideas These are the typical, you know, cross-sectional diagrams of uh, the different types of wheels and the associated equations, design equations of these wheels. The last one is the partial flume. The partial filling, you know, it combines many of the advantages of the beer and the submerged orifice. You know, it consists of wood, metal, or mesonary general structure having three principal sections. And these are given on the slide. You can read it from the slide, pause the video. This is a channel partial film. Thanks.